Hey, my Leo Collective, welcome to Sag and Sun is the crown fix. We're going to see what message the spirit has for you guys today. Let's see over our energy. Ooh, in between worlds. So some of you guys have choices. One of these choices would be to stay in the dark and dingy <laughs> or ascend and move forward. Moving forward does give you this crown. Y'all are the Leos, okay? So definitely a huge decision here. Whatever this choice is, it could set you back 10 paces or it could set you forward 10 paces. So it's very important to not take everybody else's opinion. Uh, you're going to have, this is an inside job. You're going to have to go within yourself and really think about the pros and cons of these decisions, okay? So yeah, because you're trying to get to this no place like home. This is like 10 of cups, 10 of pentacles. You're, you're trying to get to your happy place, right? And I feel like you've been doing the work. Yeah, this is what you need to do. Observe what is it that brings you closer to what it is that you want and what pushes you further away from it. Because it looks like you're the one that has the decision here. Okay, maybe you chose in the past, maybe you chose something that didn't require, what you thought wouldn't require much work. And maybe that turned out to be harder than the other option. So it's like no matter which way you go, you're going to have to put in some work with this chopped wood here. But it won't be so hard. Like some, yes, relationships, jobs, or whatever this is, you have to put in effort. But I feel like some of y'all was working way too hard at something. Trying to make something work. When it was just keeping you stuck. So let's get... Actually, I want to use my Mahogany Tarot deck here. Spirit, what messages do you have for my Leo Collective? What messages do you have for my Leo Collective? Some of y'all could be getting married or something like that. going on for the Leos. Uh, I don't love it. You got a decision to make. Nine of Pentacles, two of Pentacles. Uh, do you want to be single or do you want a partnership? King of Pentacles. Maybe some of you had proposed to someone. Um... But maybe you're starting to see things in this person. Yeah, with the Seven of Cups. I feel like you're starting to see things in this person that's making you want to pull back. Like, hold on, wait a minute. Okay, is this really going... Can I do this for the rest of my life? Is this really going to bring me to that level of happiness that I'm, I'm looking for? Maybe this person don't put in no work. Maybe you're the only one putting in the work here. It, yeah, I, I knew it. I said somebody's working too hard. And Spirit says there needs to be balance, Okay. And that's the God's heaven's truth. Ten of Pentacles, Eight of Swords, King of Pentacles. Some of you guys could be could have been trying to marry in for money, or somebody could have been trying to marry you for money. All spirit is asking you: don't trade your authenticity for this right here. Be true to yourself. And you know, sometimes family and friends may not like the choice that you choose but you have to live with yourself and you can't live your life for others you just can't and i feel like you've been trying to do that and that shit becomes a burden but some of you guys here are engaged or you're in a relationship with someone and you're starting to see things like hold on wait a minute i didn't know your ass was like that i didn't know you did those things you know what i'm saying it's some shit coming out some of you might even be looking at someone else like okay this person is more on my speed this person is more on my level i feel like things could just move forward easily with this person but there's definitely a choice one choice keeps you in the dark the other choice elevates you and i feel like you have a deep knowing of that but maybe the choice that elevates you maybe you know family doesn't like that person or something like that you like i said you got to live for yourself boo what I suggest you do, take some time to yourself. You know, cut off your phone, 
Don't be on the internet. Don't be talking to nobody. Just sit with yourself and, and let spirit give you these messages. And you will get clarity on what it is you need to do. Because some of you guys are trying to move forward, but other people are making it hard for you here. But let's see, spirit. What's going on for my Leo? Ooh, separation. Time apart from your partners on the horizon. Some of you could be leaving one energy, going to another. Because literally, you have a choice here. Yep, I told you. Look, codependency. One energy is hard where it keeps you in the dark or it keeps you low vibrational, where another energy could possibly bring you the Ten of Pentacles. Spirit, what's going on here for my Leos? What's going on? For my Leo Collective Spirit. What messages do you have for my Leo Collective? Ooh, finances and career is coming up in the reverse with free yourself at the bottom of the day. Yet someone's definitely dealing with something that's unrequited. So here's the thing. You've been staying in a situation for finances. Okay? But there is someone else that you want to express your love to. That's why this choice is out here. You're in between words, don't know what to do. Follow your passions. Who the fuck wants to live a passionless life or a purposeless life? Nobody. Okay? Follow your damn passions right here. Come out of this unrequited because there's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep that relationship going, which is why it feels so hard. Maybe you got in this relationship based just on sex. But this person doesn't, maybe they don't share your values or, hell, maybe you just... Ain't into this person sexually no more. You're realizing there is no love. Okay? You got to be honest with yourself. <clears throat> yeah, wow. Look at this. This could be the one retreat, honeymoon, forgiving and learning. Some of you jumped off into a situation. You thought it could have been the one. And now maybe you're starting to see, like, hold up, this is not who the fuck I thought it was, okay? Because Spirit is telling you to keep an open mind here. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations, which is what I was getting. Like, the person that you know you're supposed to be with is very different from you, very different from what you're used to. And so it's easy for you to keep dealing with the same type of people, but these same type of people and or same person it's not going anywhere. It's not growing. And it's just hard work, 10 of, of wands. You're already at the 10. Okay? So, mm, new love, codependency. <laughs> Spirit says, clearly decide what it is that you want so that it comes to you now. Okay? Heart-to-heart uh, -heart conversation. Honestly discuss your feelings. Let go of your control issues. What's at the back of it? Flirt. Make the effort and separation yeah some of you guys might I, I knew religious factors is playing a major part here your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path there's something of difference there's something very different about the person that you know is for you you're watching this person um you see this person as your counterpart but she okay so this two of cups is real connection here. You were in a lover's connection where it was just sex and finances. And that shit is hard as fuck. And that is what spirit is telling you to free yourself from. And so this person that you're watching, you're like, this is real partnership, equal give and take. This person is very independent. They're balanced. You see the truth and clarity now. You could have been really confused with the seven of cups. A lot of, you, you know, you could be the type of person who you get love and lust confused. You think because something physically feels good, you know, sexually, that that's love. No, it's not. Okay, so you're being guided to let go of your control issues and let go of the old paradigms. That whatever it is that you always do, do something different. If you always get with people based on looks and it, based on sex, do something different because... You stand in whatever connection you're in. You're continuing to lie to yourself. You are. Some of you are staying with someone because that's what other people want for you. Some of you are staying with a person because you don't want to hurt someone's feelings. This is your life to live. You know, there's no motherfucking way. 
you should be sitting here feeling burdened. Okay, it's hard for you to continue to wake up and do in this relationship. There's no, uh -uh. okay, yeah, this two of cups, nine of pentacles, temperance person. That's an energy that you know you feel like you should give that relationship a chance. But like I said, there's something very different there. Maybe this person has less money, or maybe they have different beliefs, could be different race. Um, I don't know what it is, but it's it's something that you're not used to. So to make this simple, you always date people who are five foot. This person could be six foot. <laughs> Do what you've never done before. Because keep doing the same thing if you just keep being stuck in this dark energy. Your crown is over here, but you're going to have to get the rest of your body over here. You can't be in two places at one time, child. You got to release this person. You got to release them. Some of you, this codependent person, maybe you're not like truly in a committed relationship with them. But it's someone that you may take care of or something like that. Kind of like, um, and you see that a lot with baby daddies, baby mamas. They're not in a committed relationship. But they still help that person and still have sex with that person. So you continuing to deal with this is blocking anything new from coming in. You got to look at, you have to think about it energetically, energy wise. You have to get rid of the old in order for the new to come in. So as long as you're dealing with this person here, you're going to always continue to put this person before anyone new. You're going to be comparing this person to other people. It's like, hold up, wait a minute, okay? Because now somebody sees the truth. Like, damn, that's my no place like home, but you fucked it up because you were dealing with somebody who was codependent. Or hell, you was codependent. Take how it resonates. So like I said, what I suggested at the beginning of the reading, it's time for you to retreat. Pull back from everybody. Pull back from this person, family, friends, and just think to yourself what it is that you want. Visualize yourself in that situation. And then move one foot in front of the other to get there. It's simple. People make shit harder than what it is. If you can visualize yourself working for whatever a major company, then what do you have to do to get there? Well, first you would probably have to look up some information about the company, fix your resume, apply to the job. Like it's, it's things you got to do. That company not just going to come knock on your door and be like, hey, thought you might want to work for us. No, you got to put one of your damn feet in front of the other. Somebody been staying stuck in some bullshit for a long time. So whatever this is, you observing, you visualizing this, but you got to let this go. There's no room. You don't have room for the new to come in because this old stagnant energy is taking up too much of your time. Okay? You're calling in your soulmate. Your prayers, your affirmations, visualizations. What was I just saying? Visualize yourself, right? Uh, it's helping to bring you together. So, but you got to get rid of this motherfucker right here. You really could have someone who's codependent on you for finances. Or you could be codependent on someone for finances. Well, I want to keep this person in my back pocket just in case time get hard. What the fuck? Then you're not really showing the most high God that you have faith in what God is trying to bring in for you. Because this two of cups brings the ten of pentacles. And that's what's, that's what's going on here. Something about finances. So, child, I don't know. You got to love yourself first. Yeah, your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. You really could be um, keeping a third-party situation open. Well, shit, I ain't finna get rid of this person. They pay my damn bills. All I gotta do is go over there and, and, and you know, get, get them a little sex or they give me a little sex and I'm gonna, they gonna pay my bills or I'm gonna pay their bills. I ain't gonna get rid of that. Well, if you're not getting rid of this old shit like Spirit is saying, free yourself and release your ex... Okay, then how are you expecting anything new to come in? You cannot have both of them. And I feel like you've been trying to do that. You can't have both of them at one time. You got to release one of them hoes. And a lot of you going to fuck around and miss the good thing while you still holding on to this neg negative shit and wondering why your life ain't getting nowhere. It's getting harder. Let it go. If it were going to work, it would have worked. Period. I don't care who this is in your life. I, it, this may be a job. Hmm? You having to bust your ass just to make three nickels? It ain't worth it. Go apply for something else. 
But this is relationship. You having to bust your ass just to get a little, a little nut. And this person going, well, if I ever need some money, they going to get it to me. All they want from me is, is some sex. What the fuck? Go and be your independent ass self. Because there's codependency here that's fucking something up. 1515 15 on the phone. And guess what? It's going to get worse. You're going to always miss out on new opportunities because you keep holding on to this dead weight here. It's dead weight. And you know what it is. With this fucking deception here, you've met whoever this person is. Look at this. Chemistry, passion, flirt. But I don't know. I don't want to lose this. You know, I don't want to um lose this trying to mess up with it. You know, trying to figure out a new situation. What if the new situation ain't no good? So you always got this in your back pocket. It's safe for you. But is, is it really? It's keeping you codependent. And it's heavy as fuck. And you lying to yourself. Good old faithful is what this is giving me. Oh, that's my bottom bitch right there. Oh, that's my uh, sugar daddy. He gonna always be there. All I gotta do is give him a little coochie. Oh, all I gotta do is, you know, this is a, a sexual shit right here. Because spirits say it's not enough to keep that shit going. So one day... Either whoever you're dealing with, it's one or two things that can happen. You stay codependent on this person for the rest of your life, or they stay codependent on your ass for the rest. However, but even in that situation, let me tell you what will happen. When something is not for you and you're not listening, if you stay stuck to this person for money, spirit will make that person lose their income. People don't be wanting to listen, okay? I can't get away from this codependent ass energy. Either Leo, you codependent or you got someone codependent on you. Mm -mm. And it's affecting your romantic life. Period. Yeah, you need to trust. This situation is calling for you to have faith. It's like you keep holding on to this. You've been probably watching this person for I ain't no telling how long. Maybe you're pessimistic. Well, I knew it wasn't going to work anyway. Damn, after you done made this person wait for seven years and then you see him move on, well, yeah, I knew it wasn't going to work anyway. No, bro, your ass stay stuck for seven years. Spirit say trust. Somebody really dealing with somebody that don't want to do shit for themselves. Mm-mm. You deserve love, man. Listen, you want to keep getting some pussy and, and, and getting a bill paid? Or you want to get some dick and get your bill paid. Or you want something real. The choice is yours. But you at that place where you need to make a motherfucking decision. Spirit says you need to notice the red flags. The one energy that's constant in your life is codependent as fuck. So whoever this person is, I'm sure they always got to say so in who you dealing with. Because they don't want your ass to leave or you don't want them to leave. Let that shit go. Let that shit go. The signs are cautioning you. Some of y'all about to really fuck up on, on your no place like home, your ten of cups, ten of pentacles. So for some of you, it's a job with the child with. For others of you, it's a relationship. Because of this, maybe you're codependent on what other people think or you're codependent on somebody else for money. Step out on faith. Damn. Leo, I don't know. <laughs> Baby, I don't know what to tell you, child. But keep an open mind and trust whatever they see that you're looking at. You're already looking at the person. Okay, you're already looking at them or watching them or whatever the fuck. But let's see, Spirit. Spirit says it's the perfect time to do something. This card is green. It talks about the heart chakra. It's the perfect time to follow your heart. With this third eye chakra, you could be having dreams and visions of this person. Child, don't be no damn fool. What up, Spirit? <laughs> you could have you could you could have a sugar daddy, right? And you you're settling for it. Whatever's going on, you're settling for it. New things want to come in for you. And you saying, Well, all I gotta do is hit good old faithful up, go on a date or two with him, and he gonna pay all my bills this month. So why would I give this up? I got to keep this person in my back pocket. No, you got to get rid of that shit. So this can come in. This comes with a level of success that you ain't never had before. Because you codependent. Or you're dealing with somebody who codependent. No, boo-boo. 
that I just saw that card said, let your past go. Let your past go. This person's been interfering in your life for too motherfucking long. It's time. The time has come to reclaim your energy. Release this motherfucker. Release your ex. Free yourself. So let it go, child. Maybe somebody controls you with, uh, because of money or whatever. What's this spirit? Clear yourself. I don't know how many cards we got to see. You, you got to have faith. The most high God likes when we put faith in God, not man. Somebody here is putting all of their faith, putting all their eggs in one basket. What happens when that shit goes kapoop? Then what? And nine times out of ten, if you don't make a decision, that's what's going to happen. So you're going to get a tower moment. I feel it. Because somebody's just doing the same shit. Time after time. What's this fear? Moon fear. You're scared. So you keep going back and forth, back and forth. Will it work? At least I'm comfortable over here. All I got to do is just do that, pay a bill or two, and it's comfortable. I don't know if this is going to work. I might have to put in too much work. Wherever you are, you're putting in too much work because it's not your truth. Okay, you're clearly wearing a fucking mask. You're settling for something. Just because you're used to something doesn't mean that that's the best thing for you. Somebody has gotten used to working hard. I said at the beginning, you had a choice. You thought the other thing would be hard work, so you chose what was easy. And that ended up being hard work. You're not going to be able to continue to get away with this. Because there's things you're supposed to be doing. Like somebody's supposed to be great. And they keep lying to themselves. How many more times we need to see the deception card? Like a bunch of drama. It's it's toxic. It's low vibrational. And you settling. Here you go, uh, Leo. You settling. Spirit is trying to give you a motherfucking brand new beginning. But you keep manifesting the same bullshit into your life. And it's time that you be accountable for that. You're literally settling for something. And you might think this is the best thing since sliced bread. Oh, all I got to do is meet him every uh, other Thursday. You know, spend a little time with him. And he's going to give me $5,000. I ain't going to let go of that. But that is blocking you from abundance, from happiness. I don't think you're seeing that. You're not. And you're not trusting it. You're like, oh, that's too good to be true. What's too good to be true? Like, you're really settling here. And it's low vibrational. And Spirit wants you to free yourself. <clears throat> Go ahead and free yourself. This could be like a living situation. I just saw that King of Pentacles, Three of Pentacles. So maybe you live with your baby daddy. Huh? Or maybe you live with your baby mama. You settle. It's stupid. It don't even make sense. If y'all not going to commit, then what the fuck is y'all doing? And are you really happy with what you got? Like I said, Spirit wants you to take a leap of faith. Put Just jump off. That's what the cards say. But somebody's so damn scary. Because they've been doing this for years. This is not no, um, this has been going on for years. This is somebody who, they might have a boyfriend or a girlfriend, but they always got this energy on the side. And nothing ever lasts. They never move forward with the other person. Because they always got somebody who's codependent. You could be codependent on somebody for sex. And that person could be codependent on you for money. So it works in y'all mind, but it really don't. It really don't. Okay. What else, spirit? Strength. With the Ace of Cups. There's somebody you really have emotions for. We got the Ace of Wands, the Ace of Swords, the Ace of Cups with the Sun. You see it. You're observing it. You know that this person is your no place like home. But you're having to fight off some type of codependency here. These could be drugs. It could be self-sabotage. It's something that is really fucking with you. And you need to free yourself from it. You will be successful with the six of wands. Maybe you're scared of whoever this is. I don't fucking know. Some of you just need to have boundaries. Like if this is a baby daddy, and every time you get ready to get into a new relationship, your baby daddy will call you all times of night, and you have no concern for the new person. You're so used to getting up, going to see what the baby daddy said. How are you going to have anything new when this person takes up all your time and energy? You're going to have to have boundaries and cut off what is no longer serving you. 
Somebody is causing drama in your love life. Period, period, period. Yep. You have to cut these hoes off and walk the fuck away and trust your intuition. Because some of y'all regret that you didn't fucking do it. Because you could be dealing with somebody who codependent and crazy as fuck. So every time you get a new relationship, this person, and you let them. You let this person do whatever it is that they're doing. But all you're getting out of it is some sex or something. Because if you was getting everything that you needed, you would not be looking over here. You see? If you got hamburgers in the freezer, why in the fuck is your ass down there at McDonald's? You're not getting what you need over here. And you won't. Only thing you're doing is settling. You deserve real love. There's no love here. It's unrequited as fuck. Is that what the cards say? It's unrequited. Unrequited love. At most, you get a little piece of uh, dry ass side booty in the morning. And spirits say you deserve love, okay? So somebody needs to make a decision to close out this cycle and stand up to this person that you are codependent on. Maybe they're controlling you with their money. Or you like to control, I don't know what the fuck this is, child. There's a lot of fear wrapped up into it. Look at that, Emperor, Ten of Pentacles again, Nine of Swords, Page of Wands, Ten of Wands. Queen of Swords, I mean King of Swords. King of Cubs, Ten of Cubs. You is, you, somebody here's a fucking fool. Somebody is really let, allowing a third person, a third will to stop them from greatness. Stuck light up. But well, this is comfortable. We got a good thing going. Okay? You know, me and my baby daddy, we live together. He see who he want to see. I see who I want to see. But we never really get serious with nobody else. Because we too attached to each other. So then you are missing out on the blessings that the Most High God got for you. You know what I'm saying? Like, do you, can you imagine doing this for the next 10 years? At some point, you got to walk away here. The choice is yours. Spirit said it's the perfect time and now to release this motherfucker, but it's up to you. Whoever this is, to be honest with you, I don't feel like they're going to do anything. They're going to hold on to something until uh, it just isn't there anymore. They're going to ride until the wheels fall off. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. They're going to hold on to it and they're going to watch their ships just sail on by. This person has missed many opportunities. But this is kind of like a one in a lifetime right here. Mm -hmm. They got some type of unhealthy ass. Or you got some type of unhealthy attachment here. It's This is unhealthy as fuck. Knight of Swords, Queen of Swords, Devil, Four of Swords, Five of Wands. That is a very unhealthy attachment. And it keeps you from getting anything... And, you know, you could be doing this to yourself. But there's a, another person here. This person could lie and tell you that they won't commit me. They don't. They just don't want to have to pay no bills. If you didn't have this money, they wouldn't give a fuck about you. That's why that this uh, finances and career came up in the reverse. Or if, if they didn't have this money, you wouldn't be there with them. It's something like that. And it's time to be honest with yourself. Okay? So, that's what I got. I'm not judging anybody. You know, people have to do what they got to do, okay? You know, if you ain't got no job and this is how you paying your bills, I'm here to tell you, you really are, like, cheating yourself out of your own blessings. You have to get rid of the old in order to embrace the new. The new that wants to come in for you is amazing, but you won't let it come in. Keep holding on to that same old bullshit. I really do feel that whoever this is, they're not gonna, they're not gonna do anything. This person's been in this energy for a long. This is somebody who always got a third person involved. Always their baby daddy on the side, or always their baby mama on the side, and that is the issue. And they've not wanted to see that. Whoever this is, don't want to realize. Oh, that and we don't really care about each other. But if this person calls you at three o'clock in the morning and you're in a new relationship. You get up or you answer the phone like there's no boundaries. If you done made plans with the new person to go out to eat Wednesday at 3 and then the baby daddy call you or the baby mama call you, oh, I need you to come up here and fix my washing machine. Can you be here by 3 o'clock? You don't even 
some of you don't even call a new person and cancel. You just go, that's what you're used to doing. You're putting this person before your your happiness, your newness. And it's why it don't never go nowhere. And so whoever you are, you've been stuck for years, possibly three or more years. Okay? So, child, that is what I got from my Leo Collective. Take it where it resonates. If this is not your energy, then don't take it. Mm-hmm. Until next time.